Easy and Delicious. I'm Christine Deaton, and I'm so glad you guys are here today. We're doing it again. We're cooking in the kitchen right here. And today I've got lots of help because it's summertime. Summertime, summertime, sun, sun, summertime. It is summertime, and we've got lots of kitties here. I've got my grandkids. I've got my nephew. I've got a bunch of people. My daughter's here. My mom's here. And everybody's going to work in the kitchen today. Okay. So today, the menu, we're going to do a cheeseburger, potato, skillet casserole. It's so easy. Kids are going to love it. You put it on a hamburger bun and it's ready to go. It's a good, big fat cheeseburger, but kind of, okay? Oh, and then we've got macaroni and cheese. What? This is, the, you guys know, this is my little Nick right here. Say hi, Nick. <laughs> then we're doing my homemade macaroni and cheese with bacon, with bacon on top, fresh bacon on top. Okay, come on over here. I've got Bailey and Devin, my granddaughters. They're working on dessert. We're going to get to that in a little bit. So they're busy preparing for dessert. And Sebastian and Eden are going to be doing our homemade lemonade. But you know what? Because I was working with watermelon today, I saved the watermelon juice, so it's going to be a watermelon lemonade. Man, is that going to be delicious. Look at the kitties here, the little ones. Well, she's licking the lemon, so I guess she doesn't mind very tart things. But anyway, the kids have been squeezing the lemon juice, all the little kiddos and, and Elizabeth are squeezing the lemon juice. And here's my mom right over here. And mom is actually, what she's doing is she's making, she's helping me make a watermelon cucumber summer salad. This salad is to die for and it's so summer, you're gonna love it. Okay, so. Let's go. I want first. The first thing I want to do is I want the guys, the boys. Come on over, boys. You guys know Sebastian and Eden. Can you believe how big they've gotten? I mean, I can't believe they're they look like men now. Look at this. They've, they've got the, the blue hair thing going on. It looks very good on you guys. Right? Okay. So what the boys are doing is they're making the homemade lemonade. Okay. So all it is is a cup and a half of sugar. Okay. I've got boiling water. I'm going to put one cup of water, and we're going to mix it for a simple syrup. Now, in here, what I did was I took a half of a watermelon and I froze the watermelon pieces. So they've got watermelon ice in there. We're gonna add a little ice anyway, and especially right in here because we want it nice and cold. But this is gonna be a delicious watermelon lemonade, all made from scratch. We also have some leftover mint that if somebody wants a sprig of mint in there. So what they did was they just wet the top of the cup with um, the lemon, okay, and then dipped it in sugar, and then you've got the frozen watermelon pieces. Man, that is going to be an amazing drink. Okay, I've already cooked my macaroni for the homemade macaroni and cheese. You guys have made this before. Kids love it. You're going to love it, and you're not, you are not going to believe how easy this is. And then we'll get to the star of the show, the, the uh, cheeseburger casserole, which these guys are going to love. First of all, how is everybody out there? Hey, we've missed you guys. We've missed you a lot. We've had a lot of people still talking to us and noting on the stuff that I post once in a while and all. And we're going to see if we can at least do the show once a month, maybe the first Wednesday. We're working on that because we've had a lot of other things going on, so we had to kind of pull back a little bit. But I've really missed cooking for you guys, and apparently you guys have missed it too because uh, a lot of you have said, hey, we're waiting for some more cooking. So here we are. Okay. Oh, my butter's over here. Just go right over there. Sure. Chris. We'll tell you, Aunt Heroin has joined us, hello, Terry Hargett Leonard, hello, Fernando Gaslin. Aunt Heroin said it's good to see you back in the kitchen. Thank you. Well, I'm always in the kitchen. I'm always in the kitchen, just not on the on <clears throat> live, but I'm always doing something and making something. And when the kids come and if I don't have a dessert for them, I throw my cookies together. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Um, yeah. A snack. <laughs> he wants a snack. Go by your mom and I'm sure she can help you with that. Okay, so right now, guys, all I'm doing is, you know I like the blue bonnet sticks of margarine. You can show them, Chris. All I'm doing is melting that. We're getting that melted down. That's going to be the start of some amazing mac and cheese. What's so crazy about this, I'm going to turn that down because I don't want anything to burn. Gosh, you don't want burnt food. Burnt food, you can't get rid of that burnt taste. So just turn that down. But you do need eight tablespoons, which is one stick of the Blue Bonnet margarine, okay? I have here um, probably maybe two cups, two good cups of Velveeta, and I've got the 
Velveeta cheese, the big block, just cut it into little pieces, just, just for the sake of it melting faster, okay? I microwaved the bacon, which I wanted it like this. I kept cooking it every 30 seconds till I had it nice and uh, crumbly, so I can crumble it on top of the macaroni and cheese. So a microwave bacon, guys, is as easy, is less mess. What I did is I put a paper towel and I put another paper plate on top. The first time I did it for three minutes and then I did 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I kept doing that until it's nice and crispy and you can just crumble it up. It's perfect bacon every time. Gina Flores is with us. Hello, Hello Gina. Gina. How are you, dear? Thank you for joining She's us today. She's missed you guys so much. <laughs> hey, we missed all of you guys so much. It's been, it's been kind of, um, you know, we've been, we're always busy here, that I'll tell you. There's always something going on in this house. But we've really, really missed the cooking show. And I wanted to do a summer show because the kids are all here right now. And, you know, we only get to have them all in the kitchen. We do it like one big Christmas, uh, a summer show with the kids because I like them to learn and cook. One of the things that I got them for Christmas was they all got little aprons because they all have an interest in what we're doing here in the kitchen. So it's pretty exciting to see them liking to be in the kitchen, kind of taking on, continuing that family tradition. Okay, while this is melting, I want you to see what the girls are doing. Come on over here. Okay, so girls, come this way. So what we're doing, now guys, if you want to see a dessert that's the easiest thing in the world and perfect for summer and the kids can do it and everybody, not just kids, everybody loves this. We have this huge box of waffles, just a plain old Walmart frozen waffles, okay? The girls have been toasting them up. You want it brown on the outside, okay? Take whatever flavor ice cream you like and put it in the middle. You're gonna make a waffle sandwich with the ice cream. Now, watch this. This, you know me with my sprinkles, guys, right? And then you've got this amazing, delicious, easy dessert for adults and children. Everybody loves this. And of course, in the middle, you put whatever flavor ice cream you want. That's our dessert for today. And they okay. are amazing. Let me check this and see, because I just I'm, I have it on kind of low. I've got it on about five, and I just want this cheese to melt. It's doing fine. Let's go over by mom. Okay, mom. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, how are we doing on the lemons, by the way? Well, guys? everybody kind of yeah. left. And <laughs> oh, so Elizabeth has stopped doing lemons. Okay, so Hello. are you helping with lemons, baby? Yeah. Okay, right. so lemons healthy. Terry okay. says she remembers those Brooklyn waffle ice cream sandwiches. Oh, okay. They're Amazing. so good. We we have them. We we we. That's always been a part of our our dessert list anyway, especially in the summertime. Okay, so you guys all know mom. Mom's here. Okay, and so okay, so let me tell you what I did. I cut the other half of the watermelon and um, made them just into big cubes. Okay, and I hollowed it out because it's gonna that's gonna be our bowl for the salad. So in here, I have a half of a watermelon cut with big cubes. I have one cucumber, and I want to show you what I did. I cut the cucumber. I scored the outside, cleaned it first, okay? Clean it first. Then score it with a fork, just to give it a little bit of a design. That's all that does. And then instead of a whole cucumber, I sliced it down, and here we got. So it's one whole cucumber. I have one red onion that I sliced Delicious. Uh, I like that. I love red onion. We have a little tiny bit of mint on top just to make freshen up the flavor. And now mom's going to make the sauce, okay? So this is one cup, uh, and no, it's actually uh, three quarters of a cup of balsamic um, salad dressing. Get the salad dressing. Don't just get the balsamic vinegar. Get the balsamic salad dressing, okay? We have the juice of one lime going in. And this is about um, two tablespoons of honey. There you go. Get that all in there, Mom. Okay, and then I'm going to have Mom whisk that up. Okay, we're going to go back and check on the cheese. And while you're whisking that, then I'll come back and we'll drop it off. Okay, let's go over here. 
Carolyn and Gina are both saying, Fran looks wonderful. Yes, she does. I know. <laughs> okay, guys, look at this. This is beautiful. It's melting. This is exactly what I want. The only thing I'm going to do when this cheese all melts is I am going to put some milk because I'm going to and I make it my consistency, however I want it. Some people like it super, super thick. I don't like it that thick. I like it where there's some texture, but it's not like you know, hard to swallow. <laughs> so, okay. Hey guys, listen, I've had a lot of people recently order my cookbook. They're still ordering and I'm very excited about that. Just in the last couple of weeks, I don't, I don't even know how many I've sent out. And so if you guys have not gotten a cookbook, my goodness, what are you waiting for? The second one is gonna come out soon. I have all, the new recipe book coming out. I have um, over 60 recipes in the next book all new all different so you know there's a lot there's a lot out there that's fast easy and delicious so guys get my book yeah okay this is good now let's put some milk looks great oh yeah and i like i said i already made the uh elbow macaronis okay jennifer's this, with us she yes. says hey family long time no see yeah no kidding <laughs> well can, jennifer can i tell about your ailment <laughs> so last week uh, my sister started to not feel well, and um, we had tickets and rooms and everything to go see our Arizona Diamondbacks play our new team, the, the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. We had tickets to that game, and um, all of a sudden Jennifer was not feeling well. She was getting really, really, really sick, wound up in the hospital, and come to find out that she has this mega case of shingles. Yeah, uh, and she's been miserable, to say the least. Okay guys, um, look in here, this is just the cheese sauce. Cheese sauce is all I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? You can, you can pretty much, you can decide the texture and this. And remember, three ingredients, milk, one stick of butter, and Velveeta cheese. And you've got the most delicious sauce. As a matter of fact, recently I had someone say, to Ashley, my daughter, uh, can you ask your mom for the macaroni and cheese recipe? And Ashley said, well, just buy her book. Well, it wasn't in the last book. It's going to be in the <laughs> one coming. coming up. <laughs> hey, we've got Heather Lulick with us. Hello, Hello Heather. Heather. Thank you for joining us today in My Cooking Looks Fed Up, Fast, Easy, and Delicious. You guys know Emily. Emily's been here lots of times. Hello. All right. Happy summer. summer. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, look how fast that is. Let's get some noodles going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Okay, and really, that's, and the sauce is done. I mean, it's that, it really is that simple. Can you get in here, Chris? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need all the noodles. We'll see. We'll put about, oh, I, I'm like, I'm just having a rainstorm of noodles here. You know, I'm going to do it with my fingers. My fingers are clean. My hands are clean. Okay, let's start mixing them in. Okay, boys, how's the lemonade? Where are we going with that? Are you ready to make it? Okay. I will say, this looks and smells delicious. All right, I'm going to give the boys, you guys, I'm going to pour the water because last time we did this, we had a casualty in the kitchen. Ben was here and he about killed himself. Oh, yeah. So, all right, so you guys, here's your spoon. One of you start mixing this. And make the syrup first. Start mixing. Okay. All the sugar has to be dissolved. So there you go with those guys. Yes, you can watch the kids a minute. See how the girls are doing over there. <laughs> so we had a, a video from one of our previous shows about 14 months ago or so with Eden helping in the kitchen and he was probably 10 inches shorter <laughs> and his and voice, his voice was an octave higher. <laughs> that was a year ago guys, that was a year ago, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys see how easy it is to make homemade homemade macaroni and cheese. I can tell you, you're not going to get this in any box. I don't care where you go. There's my mac and cheese. Let's crumble right. some bacon, why don't we? Crumble some bacon. 
Oh my yeah, gosh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. My family, they all love bacon. They all love it. So let's get some bacon in there. Oh Good my gosh. Everybody. Emily, Gina says you look amazing, friend, oh this year. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so do you. Right. Yes, you do look great, Beautiful. Gina. You look great. You're a busy lady. Okay, I'm just going to use it all because they'll eat it. Okay, you guys, this is ready to go. Clean as you go, clean as you go, clean as you go. I'm going to leave that here so I can keep my cheesy spoon in there. I'm going to keep the milk here for a minute just in case I need to add some just for the texture. Okay, boys, how are we doing? So, the next thing I want you guys to do is take all of this lemon juice. Thank you. Thank you. All of this lemon juice. Go ahead and pour it in. Yeah, I just want to do the honors. Go ahead. Hang on, I should be this one. Awesome, spill every. Oh, sorry. We didn't get a ton of juice, so this is what we're going to do. We can put a couple of squirts of this. Just like one, two. Okay. okay. One, two. Perfect. Okay, mix that up. Then I want you to pour in the, the uh, watermelon juice, Sebastian. They're doing a good job, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Girls, how we doing here? Good. It looks great. Okay, just keep, keep putting them in the freezer when you're done. All right, watermelon juice. Watermelon. And again, that watermelon <laughs> juice came from the fresh watermelon. 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 All right. Okay, guys. Now go out, Sebastian. Go out in the garage and get a jug of water. Okay. Eden, you can put like two big cupfuls of ice in there while Sebastian gets the water. All right. Let's go over to mom. Okay. Are you using these for anything? Or you can throw. Okay, mom's got the, the balsamic salad dressing. Remember, it's balsamic dressing. Um, it's got wine juice and it's got honey. It's going over our watermelon salad. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous salad. Is this, does it not say summer all over this? Look at that. Elizabeth, look at this salad. Uh, yeah, no, I'm looking Elizabeth, at it. She's like, I okay, get Mom, I'm going to let you continue to mix sure. that in. And then if you guys can get it in there, that would be great. All right. Clean okay. as you go. Let's go. go. Salad right. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. As you go. <laughs> okay. It looks crazy and busy, but really, everybody's doing their thing. It's turning out really well. Okay. Here's my, I'm going to pour a little bit more milk in there. Okay, that's going to kind of settle in. I'm going to stir it a little bit at the bottom. Get that bacon through. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Guys, are you ready for this amazing mac and cheese that you're going to go crazy for? Woohoo! Okay, there's that. Now, the star of the show today. The cheeseburger potato skillet casserole. It's really going to be giant cheeseburger kind of sloppy joe sort of you know it's just a summer summer an easy summer dish for kids but you like it too you but you're kind of a big kid that's all right <laughs> all right we're going to turn this on remember guys where are you okay always heat your skillet i don't care if it's this skillet the electric skillet one on your stove heat it first then put your oil you guys are not going to believe how easy this is okay first of all I've got a bag, a whole bag of O'Brien potatoes. This is about four cups. I took it out this morning because I don't want it frozen. Okay? So I want it kind of, because I'm going to cook it now. Okay? So I want it to cook fast. You can put it in there. All right? This is heating up. Hey, how does everybody get in touch with me, Chris? Where do they go? Well, you can obviously follow us right here on Facebook. Yes. You can go to YouTube to My Cooking Nooks channel on YouTube to yes. watch all the videos. All the videos. Over but you can contact us directly <clears throat> also through our web website, which is www.mcn for My Cooking Nook, mcnfedup.biz. 
go there and you can find out all about the show and the recipes and the cookbook. You can message Christine there. You just you can order the cookbook. You can order the that cookbook. Yeah, absolutely. So please check out the website. Go to our YouTube channel, My Cooking Book on YouTube. And like and, like subscribe. and subscribe. Emily, can you throw that out for yeah. me, please? Yeah. Is it good? Let me see. Would you go check out the sure. salad for my Let's go check out the salad. And that lemonade is perfect. Perfect. There we go. That looks yeah. amazing. It's perfect. Look. I mean, the size. You've got this size. Mm -hmm. And Emily said. That the watermelon, the watermelon lemonade is delicious. I'm actually gonna, I changed my mind. I'm gonna do the, I want to do the potatoes first. So let's get these potatoes in and then we'll do the lemonade. Yeah, let's get these potatoes in. Okay, so let's get these potatoes in. Okay, I want the potatoes to cook first. This is actually kind of like having your French fries. Yeah. Potatoes, right. Your it's, cheeseburger. That's exactly right. It's, it's all in it. one. It's an all in one cheeseburger and it's going to be delicious. Now, the other thing is, I could have chopped up onion and I could. No, not with O'Brien potatoes. It's in there. I got some bell pepper and onion already in there. Look at that. Oh, well, it's delicious. Okay, how are we doing on here? Um, so that's just fill it up with ice. Fill it up with ice. Yeah, and then you can start digging up for the potatoes. And guys, we are 22 yeah, minutes done. in, and we are about three quarters I'm of the way done. done. I'm almost done. That's what I love about fast, easy, and delicious cooking. It's like this. Last night I made um, I made like Frito pies and stuff like that. From start to finish, everybody was eating within about 20 minutes. I'm so easy. Okay, you guys know that I use. What's that? Like, can I steal? Yes, you can. Um, my garlic salt, you know, it's light on the salt, okay, because you can't have salt, and then here's the deep. And um, so I use the Lowry because it's mostly garlic powder with some salt. It's got parsley, it's that California blend. I love it, and that's what I use. And for those of us with Meniere's that you have to stay away from salt, that's a perfect um, spice or a condiment to have in your in your kitchen. It works really, really, really well. Okay. Emily, you can go ahead and taste that on camera if you don't mind. Let me know. Go over there. Is that good? All right, let's, let's see. Hit it with some bacon oh, there. It's probably pretty hot. Be careful. Let's see, Sebastian. Beautiful. You can start serving it up. Start filling the cups. Yeah! Woo! Woo! A bacon that <laughs> Let's go look at the salad. Look at this. Look at this beautiful. Yes. Show that. Will you hold that up, please, Sebastian? Look at how beautiful that is. I'm telling you, use the wa watermelon. Freeze the watermelon. It flavors it and it gives you ice. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that salad. Emily, I want pictures of this, please, of the watermelon. Maybe fill three or four cups, give them out, and take pictures of it. Mm. That is a beautiful salad. I mean, come on, all the flavors of summer. Yeah. You can actually put bell pepper in it. You can put um, you can put um, zucchini. I actually had a zucchini. I was going to put it in, but I just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it really simple. But, man, you can add whatever you want. Stuff in the garden. Put it in there. Put it in there. And just last night, there. i got to say this. Yes. She came to the top of the stairs. I live downstairs, and she said, "Mom, I'm gonna. I'll put something together. I don't know yet what, but I'll put something together for dinner." Two minutes later, OG. I told you. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. It's Two it's minutes true. late, I just yeah. had a bowl yeah. in my hand. No, it's true. It's true. I'm quick. It's quick. quick. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add some more oil. Sometimes as you go, you got to see where you are with things. You know the potatoes, they absorb some of the, some of the oil. Just add some. Just add some. Hey, you're the boss in the kitchen. You're the boss. you got to create. you got to do what you got to do to put beautiful, delicious food on the table for the family. Okay? 
and so that's what I try to do every single night. Can you do successfully? And well, thank you. He said I do it successfully. I try. I try. You can put a little pepper if you want. You don't have to. Some pepper. I like pepper. We like pepper. Put some pepper in there. All right, I'm going to move this over. We've got lots of comments about how everything's looking so delicious. Thank you so much, you guys. Hey, hey, let's get that meat in there. Guys, seriously, clean as you go. Oh, look at my sink. I've got, but this is like one dishwasher full. When I'm done, I load the dishwasher and I'm done. Just clean the counters a little and you're done. And it makes it so much easier. You know, for myself, um, standing on my feet, you see I wobble, I wobble, I wobble. Just standing on my feet is kind of hard for me. It's not kind of hard, it is hard for me. So any corners that I can cut in the kitchen, that's what I've got to do. All right, and you can start serving, if the kids want some of this, you can start serving it to them. Okay. And then this will be done shortly, and I'm going to put them on the buns, whoever wants that. I have a I have a You guys have some drinks? Pour the, boys, pour the drinks up, please. Now, you can definitely do this, guys, with ground beef. You know that. I just use the ground turkey because that's what I can eat and I want to eat today. Um, yeah, I, I like to eat every day. So, you know, I'm going to make my ground turkey. But this is easily done with ground beef. If you prefer that, just by all means, use ground beef. Okay. I haven't put this on the ground, ground turkey yet. There it goes. Ground turkey is a very bland meat, so you have to season it a little bit more than you would season other meats. Um, it, it's, it has almost no fat, you know, it's, a, it's actually a very healthy alternative. Um, and so, you, but you just have to really flavor it more than you would have to beef. Beef has nice fat in it and that's, that's a lot of flavor. So, okay, I'm gonna let this cook. Ta-da, leave it. There's that. You guys, I'm going to put the milk away because I think we're good. Let's serve some, uh, oh, I want to show you this, guys. More orders for my salsa. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. I wish I could bottle it and sell it because it would go. I mean, I, I bottle it and sell it here, but I mean big time bottling and selling. All right, let's get some watermelon over here. Who needs watermelon? Look at all the delicious drinks there. That's delicious. Guys, come get some lemonade. Yay! Lemonade! And there's Artis. Camry over there, Shawnee Boy, Bailey Boo, everybody, Devin, all the kids in the house. Over there, go, 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 Go sit down. Okay, go sit down. You said to bring up bowls. Maybe for the macaroni and cheese. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You guys can start. If you want macaroni and cheese, you can get some. Okay, girls, how are we on the uh, waffles? Are they done? Yeah. Okay, let's clean this up while we're waiting for the other meat to cook. The girls did a great job with that. Let's throw this away. We're going to take a peek into your skillet here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looking amazing. Oh, that smells good. All right, come and get it. So really, Chris is right. This is like having french fries and a cheeseburger because the cheese is right there. I'm going to put that on top and start mixing it together. And then on the bread, you can put mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, whatever you want. Pickles. Get the meat mixed in there. Look at this. This is a meal all in one. This is a great, easy summer meal. Now, if you if your family's meat eaters, you can do two meat, less potato, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. We're kind of potato people, so we're good with lots of potato. But you really can. However, you want more meat, heavier on the meat, less on the 
whatever, whatever you can do, but look how easy it is to do it. And always have a bag or two of those O'Brien potatoes in your freezer. They do make life Trust easier. me. Uh, man, they are lifesavers in the kitchen. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to put this on. About two minutes. Put the cheese, melt the cheese, put it on some buns, and we're going to be done for this. Oh my gosh. Now, we did a lot of stuff today, okay? We did the watermelon salad. We did a watermelon lemonade. We did the waffle uh, the waffle desserts with the ice cream. We've got a macaroni and cheese, homemade macaroni and cheese with the bacon. Look at that. I've got some noodles left there. I'll put that in super shiny. And then I've got my casserole. I mean, how quick is this? And we are on, right now we're on about 30, 31, 31 minutes. Everything that we do is fast, easy, and delicious. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at this, you guys. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells mm -hmm. so, so good. Okay. I want to get that cheese on there. Yeah, I want that it up, this is the cheese burger. We are gonna put cheese like crazy. Like crazy, lots of cheese. You cannot have too much cheese in this house. I'm just telling you right now. Look at that. Okay, let's get the lid on it. Let's get that cheese melted. Start serving here in a minute. Okay, guys, listen. I'm so glad that you guys came back today because we have really, really, really missed you. And, you know, like I said, I'm still cooking. I still do stuff all the time. I am working diligently on the new cookbook but for those of you who don't have my first cookbook you might want to order it just go to www.mcnfedup.biz and I have a cookbook page okay and just go to the cookbook page tell me how many you want it if you want my John Hancock on it let me know and um, we're doing for you get a magnet a magnet, you get a signature and the book with over 60 recipes in it for 15 bucks right now. So you just let me know if that's something that you want to do. That's a smoking deal. It'll be great deal. in your kitchen and they make smoking awesome deal. gifts. Yes, they do. Christmas time, I sold a ton of books because people gave them out for, for uh, gifts. All right, I'm going to put a few out because I want you guys to see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh! You know I gotta scream, right? I gotta scream. I've got to. I'm gonna show them the drink again. So I'm gonna give that another second. Look how beautiful. The boys did a great job on that. Does that not look amazing? Here, try it. You get to try it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, there. That's yours. That is delicious. Thank you. And you know what? I was going to throw the, the watermelon juice out. And I said, no, wait a minute. Let's add it to the lemonade. How delicious is that? It is delicious. Is it delicious? Yeah. Good. Okay. All right, guys. I just want to make sure the reason I'm taking a little bit, I want to make sure the turkey is cooked. Meat always has to be cooked. Always has to be cooked. Yeah. But I have really, really enjoyed being back in my cooking nook kitchen with you guys. I'm so glad you joined me today. And like I said, we're going to try to do the show at least once a month, maybe the first Wednesday of every month, because we truly have missed you guys a lot. Here we go. I'm going to use a spoon for this. I would definitely put some mayo and some ketchup. And you guys, ooh, that's hot, and that is delicious. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay, look. Oh, wow. That is an amazing sandwich. All right, you guys, so here's my cheeseburger, potato, skillet. You know I love using my skillet in the, in the summer, especially. I use it all the time, but especially in the summer. The skillet cheeseburgers right here. We have the macaroni and cheese with bacon, homemade macaroni and cheese, three ingredients, 
Thank you, Jessica Sears. That, I, I have to be honest and say, give credit where credit's due. Jessica in Arizona, this was her recipe for the macaroni and cheese. I just add my own little things, you know, but it's her recipe. And um, then we have the watermelon, the lemonade watermelon, watermelon lemonade. Look at this. Ooh. And then, of course, the waffles, which is a perfect, perfect summer dessert. So, um, could you get me the waffles out, please? All right, guys. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm going to make a lot more of these, but look at this. So, we've got our delicious burgers right here, the cheeseburgers. We've got this delicious watermelon salad, this great summer salad. Holy cow, look at that. Thanks, Mom, for helping. Thank you guys, everybody, for helping today. You guys, thank you for joining us for our Summer Spectacular. I hope you had a great time. Buy my book. Buy my book. Buy my book. The next one's coming out soon. We love you guys, and thank you for joining me at My Cooking Nooks. Fed up, and here's dessert. Ta-da! Yeah! Woohoo! Bye-bye, everybody. We love you guys. Bye! Bye.